the Gaussian is a function calling itself. So when you create a function called hello, and if hello calls hello, that's recursion. I know that sounds weird. Why someone will do that? Uh, that will make sense once we see an example like factorial using the recursion. But here, let's understand what is recursion with a code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file and we'll name this as recursion.py. And in this file, I'm going to create a very simple function. Let's say def and greet function. And in this, I'm not going to do anything fancy. Just say print and I forgot to disable my copilot. So print and I'm going to print hello. So we got this function and I'm going to print hello. Now I'm not going to call it. Okay. Let's intentionally, I'm not going to call it. I'm just going to run this. So I will say recursion. So we got a function. I'm not even calling once. Uh, let's see what happens. It is not printing anything because we're not calling it. Let's call it. Uh, where should I call it? So outside the function, I'm going to say greet, call this function. And now, okay, I'm running a wrong file. So it is python recursion.py enter. And now you can see we got hello. I don't know what file I've run before, but anyway, you could have got the same exact same output. So now you can see it is printing hello, that's cool. But what if after this printing, I'm going to call greet once more. So I'm going to clear this and I think I, I was running fact before, but let's run recursion and let's see what happens. So what I'm doing is I'm calling this function greet again. And the moment you do that, okay, so we got errors, but ignore the errors. Let's go up. And you can see this, it has printed hello multiple times. I'm scrolling, okay? If you're thinking this is a static output, no, I'm scrolling, I'm just going up. And if I go on the top, I still can see hello. So I, I don't know if you can see my scroll, but I'm just moving up and down. Uh, so we got a lot of hellos there. So what is happening is when you call this function for the first time, greet, greet will print hello, and then it will call greet again. Then greet is getting executed. It is printing hello. It's calling itself again. This concept of calling the function or function calling itself is called recursion. Now, I know you are not trusting me and we also got errors here. So it says previous line repeated 996 more times and recursion error, maximum recursion depth exceeded. That means there's a limit also. You can't simply keep calling this function and then it goes for the infinite. Nothing wrong in that sense if you intentionally want to do it. But let's say if you make a mistake and by mistake you wrote a function and then in between you called itself and you forgot about it and then you give you gave it to the user and user has clicked a button which is calling this function and just imagine the function calling itself because every function call will consume the memory, it will consume the CPU power and it is going infinite which, which will result in crashing the application or maybe the system. If you want to do it, intentionally, like if you want to build a virus, please do that. But by default, Python says, hey, hold on, you know, I know people will make mistake, they might write the same code, or they might call the same function their own function. So I have to set a limit. And the default limit is 1000. How do I know it? Uh, you can get it from inbuilt function. So we got a sys module in this sys module, uh, there's a function. So if you say sys dot get recursion limit, this will basically return the limit. And if you want to know it, I, you can just print it and this is how you do it. Just make sure that you comment greet before you do that because greet will print hello multiple times and you can't even see this limit. So now I'm going to run it and you can see it says thousand. So by default, the limit is thousand. But can you change this limit? We can. So we can say says dot set recursion limit and you can set the limit to whatever number you want. Let's say 3000. Okay, or maybe 10,000. I'm, I'm not sure. I've ne never tested 10,000. I went only for 3000 max. Let's see if that works. Let's clear this and run. So yeah, so the new limit is 10,000. That's great. You can see we got four zeros, not three. Uh, but then if I call greet, let's see where it stops now. Run. It is printing hello multiple times and it covered printing 10,000 or calling the function greet 10,000 times. Okay, I should appreciate my machine now. It's very fast. Okay, uh, but you can see uh, it is, it's saying that previous line repeated this number of times. So four here, but we got 9,996 times. So you can increase the limit however you want. Let's try. Since we are trying, I just want to see the limit of the system. Okay, it's taking some time now. Okay, so one leg is a big number. It's taking some time, but it has done it. Okay. But the point is you can 
run this. You can call the function by itself and that is called recursion. But let's say if you want to see this in a slow motion, can we do that? Uh, we can. So to do that in the slow motion, what you can do is you can use a sleep method. So after printing hello, you can say sleep and let's say I want to sleep it for 20 milliseconds. So I can say 0 0.02 milli 0 0.02 seconds, which is 20 milliseconds if, if my maths is not wrong. And since uh, if you want to use sleep, you have to use it from the time module. So from time import sleep. Okay. And now let's see if that works. Run. And you can see it is printing hello slowly. Not that slowly, which we expected, but it is doing it. I'll stop it because it's one lakh time. I don't want to waste your time watching it. I want to do one more thing. Every time I print hello, I want to print the count, which, I mean, what's the current count of the hello? Okay. Uh, you can do that by creating a variable outside. So you can say count is equal to one. And if you want to use that variable inside, of course, you can say count. But let's see. I think it will say hello, hello, hello. Hello one, hello two. Yeah, hello one. It will print hello one. Why I say two? I just have to also increment it. But since you are changing it, it will not change it. We have talked about global and local variable. Uh, it will create, I think it will create issue. Run. No, it's not able to access that because you are also declaring it here and you want to use a global variable. So we have not seen one keyword, which is global. We have talked about globals, which will give you the access of the global variables. But if you want to specify that this count is not a local variable, it's a global variable. Just redeclare that with the help of global count. Now it will treat this count as a global variable. It will not create a new local variable. Let's see, run. And you can see it is printing hello with the count. And that's my friend is recursion. So what is recursion in short? A function calling itself. And I know you're waiting to complete that one lakh and I will not give you that happiness. Once I stop the video, I will wait it to complete one lakh. Bye-bye.